The following presentation comes from the Insight Data Engineering Program, which is intended to take experienced software engineers and offer them an intensive seven-week introduction to state-of-the-art data engineering. During that time, three weeks are devoted to design and development of a complete big data pipeline. This presentation introduces one such pipeline. Hi, I'm Dan Vermont a fellow in the September-October 2017 Insight team in their New York City location. And my presentation is entitled Wikitrends, Big Data Tools Bringing the Wikipedia Data Lake to Life. The story of my project begins with a business challenge. On one side, we see the Wikimedia Foundation, better known as the Wikipedia people, and what they call their public data lake, where they make many, many terabytes of fairly raw data relating to their websites publicly available. On the other side are the data scientists and web developers who'd like to put this data to use for research or building websites, but they lack the data engineering skills and resources to aggregate, sort, and transform the raw data into a format they can use. To bridge this gap, I envisioned the Wikimedia Insight Group. WIG, a small team of data engineers who would get some kind of philanthropic funding to step into the gap with appropriate big data technologies to aggregate, transform, and index the data in useful ways, to make it available to the data scientists and web developers of the world via simple, low-latency queries. Considering the possibility that this vision could become a reality, I started to think of my project as a proof of concept for WIG. In the three weeks of my project, I would take the three terabytes plus of hourly page view data from the Wikipedia data lake and use appropriate big data tools to ultimately fulfill queries for the top 500 Wikipedia web pages on any given day, month, or year. Here's the pipeline I designed to do that. Raw hourly page view data, one terabyte compressed over three terabytes uncompressed, is downloaded from the Wikimedia Foundation's servers and put into cold storage in Amazon's S3. When it's time to kick off processing, the raw data is loaded to HDFS, enabling processing on two different possible paths for aggregation and transformation. I spent a little time working with the first path, MapReduce, I found it useful to do low-level procedural prototyping there before going on to the main work of the project, configuring Spark and its more abstract RDDs to do the complete job of aggregation, sorting, and denormalizing into JSON formatted output that would directly feed into Elasticsearch, and then use Kibana as a tool to browse and graph the trending data. That was the plan. Uh, how did things go? Well, you won't be surprised to hear that there were a few challenges that had to be dealt with, too numerous to discuss or even list them all here, but I will take time to talk a little about the central engineering challenge of the project, configuring and scaling Spark to aggregate, sort, and denormalize over three terabytes of raw hourly page view data. Here is some of the code from the driver of my Spark processes. You can see that there are three basic stages of processing. Aggregate, sort, denormalize. Let's drill down to some critical transformations in that code. Those that trigger shuffling. Shuffling data between nodes can be where Spark processes get really bogged down. My data is extremely homogeneous, which makes me tend to trust that Spark's automatic processes for performing the shuffling with maximum efficiency are likely to be trusted here. But one thing that I did proactively do, however, was to add filters at intermediate points to remove extraneous records and reduce the quantity of data that had to be processed and shuffled. I decided at the beginning to filter for only English Wikipedia pages. Then, before the popularity sort, I kept only pages with more than 100 views. And, before the final concatenation with group by key, I kept only the top 500 pages in each partition. When running against all of the data from 2016, here were my results. The first reduce by key step took 1.4 hours. The sort for popularity took 38 minutes, and the final concatenation and JSON formatting, 4 minutes. Now let's go into the Kibana interface to look at some of the final data. 
Here is the record showing the top 500 web pages for October 24th, 2016. We could scroll down to see all 500, but let's look at the top view. The top page is predictably the Wikipedia homepage. The second, the search page. But what's here in third place? Antony von Irvenhoek? Why would he be the most popular topic page on October 24th, 2016? Any guesses? Turns out, Antony von Leeuwenhoek was the Google Doodle for that very day, explaining his sudden spike in popularity. About me, I'm a contributor to the open-source Apache HBase project. Also, much of my software engineering career has been devoted to legacy data migration and schema transformation. And I'm an audiobook narrator with offerings on Audible but you can sample some of my short stories free of charge on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.